Hello everybody, welcome to Bachata con Gorchata, where I teach you guys Spanish through bachata music. Bachata music is um, a style of music from the Dominican Republic um, that I love. It's kind of like a mixture of merengue with R&B nowadays, but it used to be like more like merengue and bolero. And bachata is just like a, a Latin drink, rice water, um, sugar, milk, cinnamon, stuff like that. You can put almonds in it too, whatever you want, that kind of thing. Um, so two things that I love. That's why I think that that ain't rhymes. So, anyways, vamos a empezar. We're gonna start with the song by Aventura, el grupo Aventura, um, and the song is called La Tormenta, which means the storm. We're gonna play it a little bit, stop it, and then translate it into Spanish, okay? Esta noche en el área triste tal del amor se encuentra sufriendo de fuertes vientos. He's saying, esta noche en el área interesa tal. This, in English, would be tonight on the interstate. El amor se encuentra sufriendo de fuertes vientos. So, we find love suffering from strong winds. Se esperan diluvios en el alma, sentimientos heridos y posiblemente la tormenta dejará daños irreparables en el corazón de Raúl. Se esperan diluvios en el alma. Vamos a decirlo correctamente porque yo hablo, eh, como dije, el español de, del Caribe, así que vamos a, voy a tratar de hablar más claro y más neutro. Se esperan diluvios en el alma. That means we are expecting floods in the soul. Sentimientos heridos, hurt feelings, y posiblemente la tormenta. So, and possibly the storm dejará daños irreparables, will leave unrepairable damages en el corazón de Romeo in Romeo's heart. So in Spanish, you don't say like, this is Ricky's cup. You say the cup of Ricky. So in this case, you're saying the heart of Romeo. En el corazón de Romeo. Listen, escucha. Tomorrow will be a better day. Mañana será otro día. Don't you run away from love. No le corras al amor. Oh, oh, okay. He's translating himself here, so I'm not, that's why I'm not translating this part. But there's one thing I want to point out here. When he says, no le corras al amor, that sounds like to an English speaker, that sounds like, don't run to love. But the indirect object pronoun of le and then a, it can mean to or from. So I can say, no le corras al amor. That's not saying don't run to love. It's saying, don't run away from love. But, um, so he's saying, most of this will be in the subjunctive, the present subjunctive of Spanish, okay? So it'll be the present indicative in English. So I'm going to point that out to you here, okay? This first part is just um, regular present in Spanish, okay? So, si Dios cancela primavera, if God cancels spring, y nieve en mi quisqueya. Well, the verb nevar, to snow, is an AR verb, but here it's conjugated with an id in, so it's subjunctive because it's uncertain, you know, because God obviously hasn't canceled spring, so it's like an uncertain thing here. Y nieve en mi quisqueya, and it snows in my quisqueya, in my Dominican Republic, in my island. Quisqueya is the island that the Taino Indians called, um, well, which is now the Dominican Republic, but the Taino Indians called it quisqueya. Um, cuando se funda una estrella, when a star burns out. Fundirse is like to burn out, kind of thing. So, o el diablo entre a una iglesia. I like this part because it's like the uh, the vowels flow together, and that's one thing that I love about about Spanish is that you can slur your your language a little bit. So, like, there's what five words being combined here. O el diablo entre a una iglesia. I'm not breaking it down 
I'm saying it slow. I'm saying it all together. Entre a una iglesia. Entre a una iglesia. Entre a una iglesia. Así que it's, it's, it's really cool. I like how that like slides together. Okay, we're gonna continue. Oh, he's saying, yeah, the devil inside. I didn't even, didn't even translate that. And the devil enters a church. So this whole thing is like subjunctive. So, y nieve mitisqueya, and it snows in my Dominican Republic. The nieve is subjunctive. Se funda, cuando se funda una estrella, that's subjunctive, because fundir is an Arab verb, but it switches to an A. O el diablo entre una iglesia. Um, entre. That's subjunctive too, okay? Si es que llegue ese momento que tú ya no me quieras. Well, they're saying here, if there comes a moment, so it's subjunctive because it's uncertain. If there comes a moment, si es que llegue, llegue is subjunctive there, present tense. Que tú ya no me quieras that you don't love me anymore. So, me quieras, that quieras right there is also subjunctive, present. Okay, so that revisate, we don't really say that in English, but you can if you want. It's like, it's just like, check again. You, I mean, I guess some people do say check again or look again or whatever, but it's kind of like, check that out again. That's not normal. Revisate, check that out again. Eso no es normal. That's not normal. Okay? Okay. The clouds don't fall from the sky no matter how strong the wind is. Las nubes no se caen del cielo por fuerte que es el viento. Okay? En nuestro amor hay turbulencia, pero vuelve a sereno. In our love, there is turbulence, but Serenity comes back. Serenity returns. It, it goes back to being normal, pretty much, is what he's saying. And if by chance, y si acaso, me equivoco, and if I happen to be wrong, if perhaps I'm wrong, if by chance I'm wrong, y si acaso, me equivoco, y muera en el intento. He's talking about the love here. If the love dies while trying, y muera en el intento. And listen to what I say. En el, I don't say en el, I say en el. It's a lot easier to connect that with like a, a G sound. Sometimes you hear people say bang acá. It's like bang, bang acá. Because it's kind of hard to just say your ends in the vowel or whatever, like ven acá. Or you can say ven acá, but en el is a little more tricky to say if you're talking fast. Y muere en el intento, I can't even say it. Y muere en el intento, no. Y muere en el intento. Y muere en el intento. Okay? You got it? Bueno. Existe un corazón de hierro. Iron hearts don't exist. No hay sentimiento ciego. There is no blind feeling. Que se atreva a desafiar, that dares to challenge, un verdadero amor eterno, a true eternal love. Okay. Si el amor la guerra, repito, es so if love loses the battle, I repeat to you, I'm telling you again, that's not normal. So here he says, y si el amor pierde en la guerra, te repito, no es normal. We don't really say the te repito part. We don't. Say, well, I mean, we, yeah, we don't say like I'm repeating to you. So it says like, I'm telling you, like I'm telling you, man, that's not normal, like that. Okay, so that's kind of what's happening there. But in Spanish, you would say te repito, no es normal. Porque fui primero en ti, Morena. This is like, because I was your first, babe. Something like that. Morena, my love, my, my baby, whatever. When it, like, it doesn't really translate to, to English very well, but you can use like a term of endearment there. Porque fui primero en ti, Morena. 
So, term of endearment for Morena, because I was your first. Y tú eras mi doncella, and you were my lady. Dos mon this is so deep. Dos montañas no se juntan. Mm -mm. Two mountains don't come together. Dos montañas no se juntan. Pero tú y yo, sí, mi reina. But you and I, yes, my queen. Okay, so he said, Y no pierdo la esperanza que esta tormenta pasará. And I'm not losing hope. Y no pierdo la esperanza que esta tormenta pasará. That this storm will pass. I am not losing hope that this storm will pass. Okay? Okay, vamos a parar ahí. We're going to stop it there. Que no ves que sigo viviendo. This K in the beginning adds emphasis. In English, how do you do that? You say, can't you see? Or you can say, don't you see? So, que no ves que sigo viviendo. Don't you see that I'm still alive? Can't you see that I'm still alive? Que no ves que sigo viviendo? No es asunto de tanta gravedad. It's not such a big deal. No es asunto de tanta gravedad. There's two ways to say that. Well, it's probably more. But two ways that I usually use to say it's not a big deal. No es asunto de tanta gravedad. Or you can say, no es la gran cosa. Two ways to say it's not a big deal. Okay? Tú y yo no nos podemos separar. You and I, we can't separate. We can't split. Tú y yo no nos podemos separar. Por un desliz, esto no puede terminar. Because of a slip up, this can't end. You would switch that around. The sentence structure changes in Spanish. So, in English it would be, this can't end, this can't be over because of a mess up, because of a mistake. But in Spanish, you start with that because of the mistake. This can't end. Por un desliz, esto no puede terminar. No es normal si tú no estás conmigo. It's not normal if you are not with me. And then he says that our romance comes to an end. Que nuestro idilio llega a su final. Idilio in English is, is the word idol, which is also the word romance. Not idol, I-D-O-L, but I-D-Y-L-L. It just means romance, okay? Que nuestro idilio llegue a su final. Así se dice, okay? That's how you say it. Okay, that one he says, it's not normal that you're not with me. We already know that part. That you sleep with someone else and I have to kiss someone else. Que tú duermas con otro y otra tenga que besar. That's subjunctive present to, okay? Que tú duermas, that's subjunctive, con otro y otra tenga que besar. That's subjunctive, tenga, okay? That you sleep with someone else and I kiss someone else. And Okay. Se me hace imposible, no lo puedo aceptar. That means, that's impossible to me. I can't accept that. Se me hace imposible, that's impossible to me. No lo puedo aceptar. I can't accept that. Oh, chata. Make yourself some. Okay, so, the song pretty much repeats itself from that point on. So, we're done translating that. Um, yeah, thank you guys for tuning in. I hope that it helped you. Have a good day.